Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. So today is Sunday, October 3rd, and it's currently 11.39 a.m. And I am up, I would say bright and early, but 11, it's almost noon. So we have Roborn Claudia here, and I was actually supposed to do this video of her yesterday so I can get it uploaded today. But that did not work out. So I am doing this video today and we'll get it uploaded on Wednesday. If you have not heard, I will be having a schedule now. Here are the days. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will be posting four times a week. If you guys think I should post three times a week, then let me know. I can't go down to two because I'm a small YouTuber. You guys would not even be seeing those videos because they don't ever recommend them or give out like notifications. So that's why it's very important to put on my notifications. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, you're watching this, please subscribe. I have so many people that watch my videos and they don't subscribe. And it's like, why? Subscribe, I'm fun. Kind of, a little bit, tad bit. So um, yeah, I just got done from taking photos of my silicone baby and he does have a name, but I did not make his name reveal video yet, so I couldn't spoil it, so his name is not in the post, but go ahead and like the post anyway, because the pictures are really, really cute. I took so many pictures of him. Like, look how cute. Look at his sandals. He's going to be getting an outfit change. That's why I was like, I have to take the photos now. So cute. So... Go check out those photos on my Instagram at my underscore reborns. I do follow back, but sometimes I don't know if you guys are a reborn account or not. So it might take me a little while to figure out what account you are because I only follow reborn accounts to an exception of some people who post, you know, their personal life and the reborns as well. I do still follow. And sometimes my Instagram unfollows people or I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm not following this person. I thought I was. So that type of stuff do happen, but if you're a Reborn account, I will follow you no matter how small or how big you are. So don't be afraid to follow me because I do follow back. So we have Roborn Claudia here and he, she is rough. <laughs> like, look at his hair. He's going through it. So we're going to get him dressed and change into a different outfit. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. Well, I did. I told my membership, but I didn't tell you guys. Um, I did end up getting my clothes and my packages. You guys know I was rambling on and on about how I did not um, receive my package and because they mixed it up with the neighbors. So just a quick story because I don't want to dwell on this because it happened last week. But um, instead of the neighbors giving me my package like I gave them theirs, they put mine back in the locker parcel. And when you get packages, whoever has the key can unlock it but once you open up that package parcel with the key you're not able to lock it the only person that's able to lock it is the male person they put my package in there without because they're not able to lock it if it's already unlocked so i feel like they put my package in there because when i got there that's where it was so i feel like they put it in the locker parcel and it was just in there it was open anybody could have took it so that was really bad, but I'm just happy no one took it or no one thought to even open those. So I was very furious about that because if I asked you to knock on my door if you have my package, why didn't you knock on my door? Why did you put it in a locker that's open that anyone can access to because it's open? So we're not going to dwell on that. I'm just happy I got my clothes now. Well, the clothes were really for him to go home with. He's going to be going home with quite a bit. His box opening it's gonna be so cute or box packing i don't know so we're gonna change him to a girl outfit take pictures change him into a boy outfit and take pictures i'm going to leave him in the boy outfit because i am feeling more towards boy for him i forgot a headband we're gonna have to find one but i am feeling like more boy for him so i'm going to be changing him into the boy outfit last um so he can keep that on so for the girl outfit, he's going to be wearing this cute dress and it is pink and white stripes and it has these cute little, oops, <laughs> these cute little wood buttons right here. 
and it's just Carter's newborn. So cute. It's a little onesie dress. And then it comes with this cute little cardigan. He's not going to be going home with this outfit. Um, I chose like some items that had like a lot of clothes in there. So like ones I can change them into for pictures and for you guys. And then that he can also or she can go home with. It doesn't matter. Boy or girl. Who knows. So we're going to change him. Do his hair. Find a headband somewhere. Anywhere. And then yeah. So I hope you guys are focused. Let me actually see if you guys are focused because every time I do not check to see if you guys are focused and zoom in a little bit. Okay. You guys see how poseable this baby is? Curls just right up like so good. One thing I can say though, I know this baby, this baby is a small newborn size. I would, again, I wouldn't put premium on this baby if this baby was my personal collection, but I know sometimes people put, like, clothes that are a little tight, but I like to have the clothes not loose, but just not too tight. That's why I feel like newborn fits the best, but one thing I can say is he or she would fit, uh size newborn diapers best because this is a size one and the size ones are long so i have to fold them i mean it does fit good you know around the waist so if you do have size ones that's fine because the baby can't fit it but i did have to fold it right here because it takes up like almost all of the baby's body however if you have newborn size diapers that will fit best for the diapers i say newborn like if i had any newborn size diapers i would definitely put that and that only on this baby but i don't I only have size one so size one is going to have to do because it's not too bad like I said it's just a little long so I just had to fold it but yeah we're gonna get this dress on because I talked enough already like my camera is dying and I'm just sitting here just talking about nothing <laughs> but yeah this baby does have full arms and full legs so you can wear dresses like this and sleeveless onesies without the cloth showing that's the good thing about it and this dress is really cute i need a newborn girl so i could put this dress on the baby because there's no one else that can fit this except for this baby right here so that's why i need a newborn girl but this baby is actually weighted really good and a little bit too heavy almost because well when i um brought my silicone back in here because we were taking photos somewhere else and I have brought him back in here. He was so heavy and I still feel his weight in my arms. And then I had picked her up and she felt like nothing. But she does, like any other time that I pick her up, she does have like so much weight. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's actually very heavy. And I like that. I like heavy babies. You guys can't even see her face. But yeah, I, I like heavy babies. Um, So maybe I can zoom out a little bit. All right, so there she is. You guys see, this is a newborn dress. She fits this dress perfectly. You can't even see her cloth. Like, that is amazing. So I'm going to put her cardigan on. She looks so cute, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm starting to like her as a girl. I can't decide. I was like, oh, my gosh, she's all boy. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I kind of see girl now. Because, you know, I had her in that gender neutral outfit. So it's like... With gender neutral outfits, it's basically what you want to see. If you want to see girl, you will see girl. If you want to see boy, you will see boy. So that's why I saw a girl. <laughs> I mean, that's why I saw a boy because she was in the gender neutral outfit. But now I'm like, wait a minute. I might like her as a girl. But it's not up to me, of course. It's always up to whoever purchases her. And she is still for sale. And Scarlet is still for sale as well. I'm not going to be making a lot of videos with either of them because I do not like to really touch the babies just so they can stay in that new pristine condition. So here she is. I don't know if I want to button her. I don't really like that button. I don't really like the cardigan on this at all. But we'll take some photos with and without it. So we do have our water and our spray bottle and our uh, brush. We don't have a comb because I don't know where one is at. But I do want to get her a headband, but I don't feel like looking for one. So I just seen this one. So we're just going to put this one on her. It might be a little stretched out because Eilina head is quite bigger than hers. I'm trying to make sure you guys are still focused. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and do all of that crazy hair. She has a lot of hair. I don't know. She has a lot of hair just like Eilina. I like to get her hair super wet when I haven't done it in a while. Because if I don't, it doesn't like look right when I do do it. So that's just a tip that I noticed. If you don't get her, if you don't do her hair in a while and you try to do it with like not a lot of water, it won't turn out cute. So you will definitely have to drench her hair if you haven't did it in a while and you plan on doing it. So it could turn out cute and be the best hair that it could possibly be. Okay, not that much water. You guys see, I'm very water crazy. <laughs> like I am all about the water. <laughs> But she has eyelashes, she has eyebrows that you guys can clearly see because they're like right there. It's hard to miss them. But um, we're not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to keep the direction of her hair that I rooted in. But of course you can style anywhere. You can even do like a mohawk if you want her as a boy. Some cute styles like that. So let's put her headband on. Okay, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like that headband. We're going to find a different headband and then I'm going to put it on and then show you guys and then I'm going to take photos. So yeah. I mean it doesn't look too bad in the camera but in person I don't like it. It's too like big. But we'll be back. Okay we are back. I just got done from taking some photos of her and um, as you guys can see she doesn't have her little sweater cardigan vest thingy on because I took it off so I could take some photos of her showing that she does have full arms and I chose this headband to be honest it was the only one I can find I don't know where my headbands went I have too much stuff like too much baby stuff to go through to even look I have a whole bunch of boxes and just packages that it could possibly be in and I happened to see this one and so she went with this one and it looks so cute this is the headband that came with Scarlett's mohair so if Scarlett sells as a girl Scarlett would be going home with this headband so yeah, just a little disclaimer. It's a beautiful headband though. Like, look at it. It's so cute. And look how cute she looks. So, we are going to change her into her little boy outfit now. And I think she looks so sweet as a girl. I'm actually about to... We're not back. I'm about to leave again. I want to show my mom her as a little girl because I think she looks so sweet. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys what she's going to be wearing as a little baby boy. So, we have this... Sorry, I was checking what brand it was koala baby um newborn size the onesie it says dream big little one it has little rocket ships and i decided to pair it with these little um these are like very very thin what what, what brand is this sorry i'm like stuttering uh this is gerber organic maybe it's really thin because it's organic i don't know but these pants are like really thin but i decided to pair with them they're just gray and it has a cute little rocket ship and this has the navy blue in it so i thought that would look nice together don't go together but we're gonna make it work and so i do have some navy blue scratch mittens that i might possibly put on the baby um and so yeah i also want to show you guys that this baby does have a magnet i know i always say that but you guys are like i never see it because i don't have any pacifiers magnetized for this baby but i do have this soothe where you could just put the magnet inside and you can just go ahead and you know put it up to the baby's face and then it'll work so yeah we're back for good this time look how cute she looks i just can't get over her as a girl now like i don't know what it is as soon as i put this dress on i was like oh my goodness i love it so that's her as a girl so we have to be fair and put her as a boy and of course at the end of this video go ahead and comment which one do you see if you see boy or if you see girl i asked that maybe like two times and i don't think i got any comments about if anyone liked the baby as a boy or girl so i'm very curious to see what any of you see and if you like the baby as a boy or girl i'm not gonna go over her head because i just did it but i might have to do it again not as much water this time <laughs> Or maybe no water at all. But yeah, this baby is so, so cute. By far, one of my best, if I have to say so myself. But I just think throughout every baby I did, I have definitely improved in my work. And a lot of you have said that as well. So thank you for those nice comments. I really do appreciate it. It helps me as well. And it just keeps me going 
to know that there's people out there that really appreciate my work and i would undo the dress and uh fold it back up neatly but this video is so long so we're going to go ahead and put this baby in this outfit and i do already have the outfit oh my gosh what the heck <laughs> i don't know what just happened but i do have the baby's outfits picked out if the baby were to go home as a boy and a girl um i picked these outfits especially and specifically for this baby right here because um the onesies that i have for the baby to go home as either gender are like the perfect size and they're on like the smaller newborn size and they're gonna fit him so perfectly so i have his outfits picked out and if he was to go home as a girl i have the outfits picked out as well we have some long sleeves some short sleeves pants shorts you know things of that sort for this baby yeah like look at this this is a koala baby newborn fits him so perfectly let's hope those pants fit i think they should they're newborn yeah that carter's outfit actually ran like a little big because this is a newborn and it fits perfectly but the ones that i'm gonna send are like this i don't think they're this brand i think they're carter's and maybe gerber but like they're small like this so we don't have any socks okay i thought i had some socks picked out okay these are scratch mittens i have a box full of socks right here so let's just pick any of these out Oh, perfect. I didn't even have to look that hard. We have some navy blue and yellow socks right here. And this is perfect. It says Rookie of the Year and it has a little football on it. But that's going to get covered up. <laughs> We're going to do a little knee-high socks because why not? I don't want the to look uh, all bulged and big and bulky when I put his pants on so that's why we're doing knee high I don't want to like fold them because they're gonna look big at the ankle and I don't like that look for little babies so we got his socks on and oh my gosh they match so perfect so everything is just coming along and together and if you guys haven't saw any of my other videos go ahead and check those ones out I know I've been doing kind of boring videos lately but I know some people who like to watch the um, boring not boring but <laughs> the like topic discussions and package openings okay i'm trying to get all of this to show you see god you see how like poseable he is he was like er. <laughs> i love that i love the way i waited this baby that's one thing i can't say i i just love the way he's waiting but look how cute should we like try to do i think the strings are too short yeah the strings are way too short Maybe we can just tie him like that. That's cute. Look at him. That is so cute. And these pants fit perfect. Yeah, they're a size newborn. But yeah, look how cute he looks, guys. Oh my gosh, my camera battery is dying. But he looks so cute. Um, We're going to style his hair. And then I am going to take pictures of him and then come and do my outro because my camera is dying and i don't know if my other batteries are charged <laughs> so i'm gonna take photos of him with the scratch mittens on and without the scratch mittens um we're gonna leave his socks on for these photos because i think they match his outfit perfectly so he looks good in this color i think i have some blue going home with him as a boy so that's good i think this really compliments him his face and his skin tone so all right everyone we are all done with his little mini photo shoot and i am all done with this video i took his scratch mittens off and i used like the pacifier as a prop because his hand is open so he can hold like his stuffed animal and things of those nature and sorts like a passy clip and pacifier so i think that is really cute so i decided to use it to my advantage Put the cute little pacifier right there and he's like holding it or maybe like he's trying to feed himself it's not hard to put it in his hand it actually kind of just naturally went in there <laughs> and when i was taking the photo i was like oh my gosh he's like trying to oh he's like trying to put it in his mouth that's so cute so i hope this video isn't too long i am going to hope if it is i probably will speed up me changing but i 
think I was talking while I was changing, so wish me luck and hope that I was I wasn't talking, but you know me, I talk so much. But this is his cute little outfit, his little spaceship rocket outfit. So I now I can't decide again if I like the baby more as a boy or a girl. So you guys definitely have to help me. Here's the baby. And that's a real born Claudia. But if you're interested in this baby, as always, go ahead and let me know by emailing me or DMing me on Instagram. I have both email and Instagram in the description. Everything that I always mention at the end of my videos are always linked in the description. So you guys can just click on it and you don't have to search it up. And it's easier that way. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, go ahead and follow me at my underscore reborns. And I still haven't got my Macy's link fixed, but maybe I should just stop saying it. But if you guys do want to check it out, it is in the description. But it's actually not because the link doesn't work. So scratch what I just said. If you want to join my membership, go ahead and join it. I recorded so many videos on there. I don't want to give you guys a... Well, I did say that I recorded like, you know, the Dollar Tree haul on there. And me doing other things of like painting and that sort. But I have other videos on there as well. And I'm not going to spoil it. So you just have to go ahead and join and find out. So that is it for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want, including video requests. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. It will mean the world to me. And don't forget to click on the bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. So that is it for this video today. And I will definitely talk to you guys later. Bye!